Chague kazi, kazi ni kazi. Mungu atabariki kazi ya mikono ya A very good morning to you. This show, the Chapakazi show, it's all about small businesses in the street. Yani hasoliako. We come to your businesses. We want to know what your business is all about. We want to find out what you guys are doing to earn a living. Today, I decided to come along Pembembeli in Nakuru town. Here we find one hotel of a madam called the Favor Hotel. This is where most people in this area come to have a snack or even lunch because she prepares different types of foods. Please join me. We come and see what she does for a living. How's business today? Business iko poa, ingawaje mande kazi na kuanga iko chini, hangover so za Sunday. Okay. Yeah. Why is that? Okay, maybe ju sasa tusikufungua sasa Sunday, watu wako na ma hangover so wengine wameenda kazini. Yeah. So I want you to tell us who you are and the kind of business that you do. Okay, I'm Florence. Uh, I have this cafe. It's like a hotel, kibanda. Yeah. I cook food, I cook tea, chapati, mokimo, chipo. Yeah, uji, so 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 porridge. So, at what time during the day do you have the highest number of customers? Morning hours, lunch hours, but not many, and evening. evening. Yeah. So throughout the day you have customers, yeah, meaning yeah. this business is good. Yeah, it is, but it has some challenges. Sometimes you cook food, people don't come and take food. Sometimes food is spoiled. Yeah. Maybe some customers are rude, they are demanding, yeah. So what do you do to food that is spoiled? And um, you, you purchase that food, meaning you used money. Yeah. So what, how do you deal with this food? I just throw it away, but sometimes you feel uchungu kwa moyo, jumepika, umechoka, na unatupa chakula. Meaning that day you've gone without any profit? You Some... some a few, a few, a few, just little. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You've said some customers are rude. I know people are different, and that's your work. So, how do you deal with a rude customer? Mm -hmm. at, because at the end of the day, you have to sell. Yeah. So, how do you, ha what is your type of, what we like call it, like a customer service? Yeah. How do you deal with your customers? You just cool down. You welcome them welcomely, warmly. Mm -hmm. you, d you, serve, you serve them whatever you have, maybe Mokimo. Most of them like Mokimo and Chipo. I sell them, take away. Yeah. And to a customer who's polite, maybe they don't even know what they want. Mm -hmm. How do you handle that? Okay, I welcome them first. I tell them I have this and this. Now they tell me what they will take. Okay. Yeah. So maybe you can show us around how you do your things here. <laughs> maybe you can show us how you make Chipo. Uh -huh. Okay, no problem. Okay. So before we go there, mm -hmm. Okay, you being here means that you've acquired this space. Yeah. How did you get this place and how do you deal with how 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 most people call them kanjo? Yeah. How do you deal with kanjo? There 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 is a fee I pay six three sixty per month. Yeah. And the, I have a medical so because because I cannot cook food without the medical. Yeah. So let's assume you don't have the medical permit, you don't have the three the three sixty mm -hmm. to pay. How do they handle you? 
they come here they find you don't have anything mm-hmm. it's like you are here illegally mm-hmm. how do they how do you people yani muna communicate haje now okay sometimes they are rude not true not true really they they need the money because you know if you, you if if you have acquired this place you have to pay those charges monthly you have to pay the 360 yeah so what do you think the government is not doing for small scale businesses i think we should have funds to help the the people who have skills yeah we sh- they should fund us with the rich money that we can they can and will appreciate yeah and what else do you think that they are doing and to you it's not good you would like them to change i would i i would i would add them wasaidie vijana wasaidie sasa maybe kitchen manager anajinua wamsaidie wamsaidie maybe wampe some of the capital mtu anaanza kazi hata kama ni yakuza manguo ni yakupika ni yakupika chapo nje ni yakuzurudisha uji yeah at least wa vijana wenye wako idol they can have something to do you being a young lady you have friends <laughs> so let's assume one of the friend passes here maybe they are well off in life how do they take you how do they take your business sometimes wana kucheka wana shangaa msiana mdogo kwa kibanda i know tree yeah wengine wana kutukia wengine wana shindwa huyu msiana ni nini alikosa ili akujeke hapa so how do you take that I just take it simply because I me nimesoma by then nimefanya CPA nimeajiriwa niko nimeajiriwa but nika quit hiyo kazi I found self business it is more paying than the employment yeah and self business you have more freedom ukilinganisha na kwenye umeajiriwa yeah so uju umekuja hapo kwa kuajiriwa meaning you are employed somewhere so how apart from this being with freedom and all that stuff what is the difference between being employed by somebody sitting in an office somewhere before the whole day and being here cooking there's a lot of heat yeah. so why do you prefer this i prefer this because i have my own freedom uh, i can as a funga wakati wote wenye unajisikia maybe umepata mahali umealikwa unaweza funga but sasa unaona kazi ya ofisi itabidi ukae hapo from 8 to 5 maybe you have to visit your friends kuna wakati huu mwingine maybe you have to go to maybe you have a, a function at church inabidi ugoje wakati wa, wa kazi uishe juu unaona sasa umeajiliwa you under somebody's yeah 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 so you've said you left employment what will you tell a young person like you maybe a young lady they don't have a job and they don't think self employment pays or maybe they think this is the kind of work that you're doing maybe it's a dirty job yeah, okay yeah, yeah. they think that for them to get a job they have to sit in an office somewhere to wait for employment at the end of the month what will you tell such a person because they are at home they are idle i could i could request the mama kuambia kuko na kazi mingi nje mtu anaweza anza kazi ya kuzururisha melon unaweza eka maybe jewelry you can take them at a cheaper price in nairobi ukuje unauza which will be better and it will pay your rent it will sustain you yeah it will so if i would go back a bit how has the journey been you didn't tell us when you started how you started your business like let's assume today I want to start this business how much do i need for me to start such a business and how has the journey been since up to now the journey was not easy ju lazima ningeomba hii place unaona ni kwa barabara ili nikutea wenyewe lazima ningekuja niombe hii place ilikuwa na challenges kupewa nini nini but at last alinipea kujenga ku construct the the kibanda mabati na itaji the post na uje sahi ma, kupata post ni shida juu ya miti haya nails partitioning the this board okay. the carpet the yeah Mm. <laughs> to make a pesa, uh, uh, let me approximate like kitu kama 10 to 12 to 12000 around there yeah so it is not hard to start such yeah. a business so you would advise anybody to get up from their comfort zone yeah. and come and do something. yeah i will tell okay. them like that so i don't know if one of your customers will allow me to talk to them because i want them to tell me how they find you in this business i don't know i'll talk to who before i come back to you yeah i'll talk to you mom <laughs> So you being a customer here I can see when you're having chips how do you take Florence Ah uh, Florence she is a hard working lady anafanya kazi wakati tumekuja hapa tunakuta amepika chakula tamu na tunafurahia service yake 
Yeah. What will you tell about her food? Is it nice? Is it tasty? Because it is not easy for you to leave your house and you're a woman, you can cook and come and sit here, meaning this place has something nice. So what will you say about her food? Uh, her food is very sweet. I love it. 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 I can manage to go back. Yeah. What of her prices? Price yake iko poa kwa za kani chipo from 10 bob na chai ni 15 na unakuta hata chapo. Sa her price iko sawa. Iko sawa. So will you kindly invite somebody to come here? Yeah, I can invite somebody to come here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wake up every day and come here upigwene hiyo hit yote moshi you know it means that this business had a lot of benefits yeah. so what are the kind of benefits that you've gotten from this business okay for one i'm um, i'm able to pay my rent to cater for my for my daily activities yeah and also i have started another business yeah i do sell ponchos earrings scarves Doll shoes, flat shoes, yeah. So meaning you have another shop somewhere or you take them round? Okay, I do sell them online. Yeah. Mm. So meaning you being a young person, you're also improvising technology. Yeah. How is online business to you? <laughs> it's very fine. It's paying. I do have many friends that was up, Facebook. I post the pictures there and I get customers. So, com okay, I'll take you back a bit. <laughs> Compared to online business of your earrings and ponchos yeah. and to this one, mm -hmm. to you, which one pays you ma the most? <laughs> you know, food, it does because it's, it, it goes fast and it's a basic need. Now people need to eat. The other one, it does, but food, it does more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. cutting cabbages yeah are this for food or no cabbages is used for different things yeah i'm cooking them for stew okay yeah you also make salad for chips yeah i do mm -hmm. yeah 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 how do you do that what do you need for that salad because there are so many people who will not have chips with tomato sauce yeah, they'll prefer yeah. having the salad or uh, we call it kachumbari so how do you make it let's say kachumbari for now, I don't make kachumbari because tomatoes are at a higher price. Yeah, I prefer making salad, which I, I, I use cabbage, I use carrots, and onions. Yeah. Because onions are somehow bitter. What do you do them? Onions. Yeah. What do you do to that? I add, I add small sugar and salt. Then I mix, and it's good. That's nice. So about this business before mm -hmm. so I want you to explain to me more you show me the things that you sell online mm -hmm. yeah okay number one 
I started with these ponchos. I sell them at 500. Yeah, I, I have different colors. I have blue, white, red, black. Yeah. So you only sell for adults. Do you have ponchos for kids? Or you just specify on adults? No, I had for kids, mm -hmm. but the stock is over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can see also having a nice thing over there. Yeah. So can you tell me what it is called and how is it helping you? Uh, it kakikoi kashingo, like as curve. Uh, uzuli wai kitu, wakati kukona balidi, unasikia ukona joto hususahili kuvaa koti ama vitu zigine. And still is a, is a decent thing. As you see, it's a very nice thing. Yeah, inakuwa kamzuli sana. So at how much can I get that? Mm, yeah, I bought from 600. Yeah. Wow. So you feel it's warm? Yeah, it's warm. Okay. Nice. Nah, it's decent. Okay. I'll come back to the earrings because ladies, we are very much addicted to earrings. We cannot do without these things. So tell me something about them. Where do you get them from? I get them from Nairobi. There is, there is a friend of mine who, do s who, d who sell at wholesale. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I'll ask you something because you do this thing online. I'm in Nairobi and I want to get a pair of a scarf mm -hmm. or a poncho. Yeah. How does it get to me? Currently, the people that I'm selling, uh, they are around around Nakuru. But there is a sister of mine who is, she is in Nairobi. She delivers them. To, she she okay. does. Yeah, yeah, okay. she does. So. very nice as I can feel despite the heat that is there in the country right now this thing is warm yeah. and it is light you don't even feel like you have something on yeah. so I would like to tell anybody who's watching me Florence has really nice stuff apart from her food she's selling ponchos as you can see I've gotten myself one it is very nice it is warm it is pretty it has colors that are attracting so you can get her online you didn't tell me where people can get you if they want to get your things online maybe you can give us your online name or your the platforms that you have okay kwa facebook najita flozy favor flozy favor caris yeah instagram twitter mm -hmm. Nico, but say Flozy Favor Caris. So, if you want to get this thing, look for Flozy Favor Caris, and she'll be sure to deliver it to you. As I sign out on our episode today, we've learned that with whatever little money that you have, you can start a small business which can help you start another business as it has helped Florence. Be sure to join me next time, same time, but on a different cousin. I have been your host, Beverly Notari.